Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you what is a function in Python and how to use functions in Python. So first of all, what is a function? So a function is a group of statements within a program that performs a specific task. Now functions can be of two types. One is built-in function and the other is user-defined function. Built-in function, we have already seen that print is a built-in function or for example, input is a built-in function or for example, min is a built-in function and so on. Now, usually function does one task at a time. So you can see this print function only prints something. Whatever input you give here, it's going to print it. Input function takes some input from the user. Min function finds out the minimum out of some values. So a particular function do one task at a time. Now let's see how we can define a function. So to define a function, you use a keyword def and then you give the name of the function. So name of function and after the name of the function, you give these parentheses and you provide number of arguments or parameters. So for example, arg1, comma, arg2, comma, arg3, and so on. So you can give any number of arguments to your function. Now after this ending parenthesis, you give this colon, and then under this function signature, you write some statements which you want to execute when this function is called. So for example, if you want to print something, you can uh, print something. Or if you want to calculate something, for example, the product of uh, two or three variables or a sum of two or three variables, you can do under this function declaration. So let's take an example of function and let's see how we can define a real life function. So I'm going to define a very simple function which is going to add two values. So I'm going to name it as a sum. And for example, it takes two values. One is let's say arg1 and other is arg2. And then after the colon, I want to add these two values. So I can just write print here and then I can write arg1 plus arg2. So this is a very simple function which takes two arguments and then add these two arguments and print them. So this is how you declare a user defined function. Now after declaring a function, you need to also call this function. So in order to call the function, you just use the name of the function and then you provide the arguments which is required by the function. So our function requires two argument right now, arg1 and arg2. So we are going to provide these two uh, values. Let's say I want to provide 15 as the argument one, and I will provide 60 as the second value. Now let's run the code and let's see what happens. So when we run the code, you can see our function prints 75, which is the sum of these two values, which we have provided as an argument to this function. Now also, if you remember this plus operator, you can also use to concatenate two strings. So I can use this sum function and this time I'm going to provide, for example, hello as the first parameter and then world as the second parameter. And then I'm going to run the program and it's going to print hello world. In addition, we can provide two float numbers here. For example, I will provide 15.647 and the second argument I'm going to provide is 80.258 and this is also allowed. So I'm going to just uh, run this code and it gives us the sum of these two values. So this function sum is doing one single task, which is to add two values, whether it's a string or it's a number or it's a float value. Now you may also observe that when I provide, for example, as a first argument, I will provide a string and as a second argument, I will provide a number here. 
will this work let's see so it's going to give us an error and this error says can't convert int object to string implicitly so this is a problem so to solve this problem we can provide here a simple condition and we are going to check the type of both the arguments so if type arg1 is not equal to type arg2 this should be arg1 not agr1 so let me just change this here and if the type of arg1 is not equal to arg2 we are going to just use this keyword which is return so this return keyword is used to return something so you can return for example 0 here or any string here and when you write this return function without any value here it's going to return nothing but as soon as this return keyword is called nothing after that will be executed so even though you are returning nothing from here then also this statement will not be executed so whenever return is executed after that all the statements which are under the return will not be executed also we can print a message here that please give the args of same type okay and let's run the code now and you can see now it prints this message which says please give args of same type so if these arguments are not of same type whether it's a integer or a string or a float value if the user provides first argument which is a string type and the second argument which is a integer type then this condition will be true and this statement will be executed which is going to print this message and then return is called and after this whatever statements are there will not be executed so now as i said you can also return some values from a function and here when you don't give any values after this return keyword it's not going to return anything but let's return the addition of two arguments using our return keyword so i'm going to use this uh, return keyword here which is going to return the addition of these two values using this sum function so now what will happen is let's run the code once again and you can see this sum is executed this sum is executed this sum is executed but the result is not printed so in order to get the result out of this function when it returns something we need to save this return value in a variable so let's save this uh, value into a variable and then you can uh, use this variable to print the value of the sum so i can uh, do something like this also you can directly enclose this sum function inside a print function and then also it's going to print the sum of these two strings so either you can assign the result of this sum function which is returning the result into a variable or you can use directly this print function to get the result and print it so i'm going to use print with other two functions also so first print and the second print here and let's run the code once again and now you can see what happens so first of all it prints 75 which is the addition of these two numbers which is returned by this sum function into a variable a and we are printing the sum using this print function here in the next result it prints hello world because this sum function now returns the concatenation of these two strings similarly this sum function is going to return the sum of these two float values and in the last result because the type of hello is not equal to the type of 15 then this message is printed because this condition is true in the last case and then return will be called and when this return is called we were printing whatever is returned from the sum function and you can see at last none is printed because 
at last this sum function is returning nothing because the type of these two arguments is not same so we were returning without any value and that's why none is printed here now there are few things to note here okay so the first thing is you can define a function using def keyword and then the name of the function and under these parentheses you provide the argument so these two are called arguments so this is our argument one and this is an argument two also you can use alternatively the name parameters for these two arguments so this is a parameter one and this is a parameter two now it's possible to return from a function like you can return the addition of two values or it's also possible to return nothing from a function so when you use return without a value it's not going to return anything now when you use this function somewhere it's called calling a function now at last let's discuss about some of the benefits of using functions so the first benefit is function makes your code simpler because if you don't use function to execute this kind of code then you need to write this code again and again whenever you want to use this functionality at different places the second advantage is function makes your code reusable so the same code is used to add two integer values to concatenate two string values to add two float values and it's also used to give the error if you provide the arguments of different types so that means you write the code once and use it multiple times and that results in faster development of the code so if you use a function you can develop your code much faster than if you don't use a function and the last but not the least advantage is when you declare functions you can test and debug your code in a better way so this is how you can declare and use functions in python i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video